Hi, my name is Mark. I'm a product pre-sales specialist for Hike Vision UK. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up and use facial recognition in Hike Central Professional using a Deep in Mind Facial Recognition MVR. The same steps will also work if you have one of our Deep in View cameras. The first thing you need to do is ensure the MVR is set in facial recognition mode. This feature is supported by MVRs with an X at the end of the part code. You'll need a facial recognition license for Hike Central for every camera you want to enable this feature on. Let's log into the Hike Central web client and get started. First, you need to allocate a license to each camera or the required options won't be selectable. Under maintenance and management, select license details, then click the arrow to the left of cameras to display the available licenses. In the example here, I have one facial recognition license available, but I haven't linked it to a camera yet. Click configuration and we can choose the relevant camera. In this case, I'll choose the facial recognition MVR, then pick the camera I want to use. Next, we need to create a face comparison group. This is done in the video section under intelligent recognition. Give the group a name and then click add. Now we can start adding people into the group. If we already have some people added to Hike Central, perhaps as part of an access control group, we can choose add existing person. We don't have anyone added to the system yet, so we'll choose add new person. Enter in the name, along with any of the other optional information, and then we need to add a photograph. If you hover the mouse over the silhouette of the face, you'll see the options to take a photo from a connected device, like a facial recognition terminal or a video intercom, take a photo from a webcam connected to the PC you're using, or upload a photo from the PC. I'll upload a photo of myself, then click add at the bottom here. Once you've added everyone you want into the group, you're ready to set up a recognition task. I'm going to set up face comparison. Click add, give the task a name and choose the device for analysis. In our case, the MVR is doing the facial recognition. So we need to select deep in mind MVR as the device for analysis and then choose the correct camera below. Click the arrow to select it. If the camera doesn't appear, it's because you haven't allocated a facial recognition license to it. Choose the facial recognition group you want to compare against and click add. Okay, so now we have a facial recognition group and a task for face comparison. Next, we need to decide what happens when a person is recognized. This is done under event and alarm. Our source type is face and the triggering event is face matched event and our source is the camera. We select our face comparison group here and we can also add some instructions which will appear in the control client when our event gets triggered. This lets the security officer monitoring the system know any actions they should take in response to this event. We can also add a linkage action such as triggering this or any other camera to start recording or take a snapshot or we can call a preset on a PTZ. We may want to trigger an alarm, which will be sent to the control client. And of course, we can choose to have the alarm pop up on screen for the security guard or be displayed on a connected smart wall. You can also trigger an audible warning. And if the PC running the control client supports text to speech, then you can type in a message here to be spoken when the event is triggered. Okay, so that's the event all set up. I'm going to trigger it now by walking in view of the camera. Now we can search for events and export them as an Excel or PDF document. If we choose Excel, we can also export a folder containing the captured photos. And finally, let's take a quick look at what the operator would see in the Hike Central control client. There's a new notification showing at the top, and because we chose a pop-up alert, we have this window in the middle of the screen. It's showing the picture that was captured, the details of the person who was recognized, as well as the instructions I entered earlier. I need to acknowledge the event to get rid of the pop-up window. And there we go. Those are the basic steps you need to take to set up a facial recognition task in Hike Central. Today I set up a face matched event, but there were also options for face mismatched event, in other words, detecting strangers, as well as frequently appeared or rarely appeared people events. I hope you found this video helpful. 
Goodbye.